Hi, welcome to Excel Video 230. I'm Nate Moore. Before we get started today, I was creating a lag days table for one of the clients I help. We're just pulling the difference between the last date of service on each claim and the first date that each claim was billed and trying to say, all right, by rendering provider, by location, how long does it take to get claims out the door and can we improve our revenue cycle by focusing on a specific provider or a specific location to get these claims out the door faster. If you're not looking at lag days in a pivot table, you ought to start. Today what I'm going to do is give you another way to get data into Excel. And we've talked about a bunch of different uh, ways to get kind of data from inside your computer from you know CSV files or TXT files or other Excel files into Excel. If you go to the data tab and get external data from the web, you can get data from the web too. And if I just click down here, we're going to pick Google Finance and Sometimes you get errors at google.com, but we're not going there. What we're doing is we're going right here to the currencies table. We're just going to pick a table to import. You could do maybe mutual funds that are in your company's 401k or retirement plan, or any of a number of uh, things that are you can look up on the internet, like stock prices that change fairly frequently, and you want to update those and put those in Excel. Here's how to do it. Once you get the address there and Google cooperates, this little yellow guy right here, will show you the tables that you can import into Excel. So I'm going to check that and click Import. And it says, where do you want to put it? And I'll click OK. And it's going to go out and get the data. So what, and it even, I mean, I didn't have to do text to columns or anything. I mean, I've got, the, I've got the current Euro and US dollar rate, and here's the yen and whatever else in the change. And I could write formulas against this. I could, um, if it was a mutual fund, number of shares, or there's all kinds of things I can do to make this internet-based data refresh for me. And then the other thing you can do is if we look at the properties of this connection, we can go through and every time I open the spreadsheet, I can refresh the file. So all I got to do is open Excel and it'll go out to the internet to google.com or wherever else I got my data and bring back the current values of my mutual funds or my stock prices or currency rates or whatever it is you want to see. And then there's some uh, options down here, I guess we'll call them that if you, hey, I used to have seven mutual funds, now I'm finding eight in this table instead of seven. What do you want me to do with the new data? I can insert cells for it. I can fill the formulas that are next to it down so it does the same calculation I'm doing with the other data. Some options there that may be helpful for you. But what I really wanted to show you is that it's easy and possible to do it. From the data tab, get external data, and then from the, I've got to get outside here so I can put more data in from the web and then you just navigate to whatever site you want look for the yellow arrow click that check the box and click OK and you've got your data off the web into Excel but not only that you've got a link to it so anytime you want to go in you can either update it manually or you, like we did in the, the the properties of this connection just check the boxes every time I open Excel go update this query pull this data off the internet and you're good to go I hope that was helpful for you if you've got data that changes and it's available on the internet and you want to pull that down it's an easy way to do it. Thanks for watching.